everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Soaps. I am making a um, remake. This is Twilight. And I'm melting my oils right now. I'm doing the heat transfer method. And I have my hard oils almost all melted. Um, anyway, Twilight is not named for the movie. This is named for the fragrance. Uh, it's a dupe. If you don't, I get asked all the time, what does that mean? Basically, it's just a copy of another fragrance. And this is a really good seller. I brought this out for the first time last fall um, for my holiday shows, and it flew off the shelves. It sold out within the first 20 minutes. And I only take a small amount of my stock with me to my shows, but every show I had where I had Twilight with me, it, it, it was the same thing. It just it flew off the shelf. It was the very first thing to sell. And I wasn't going to make it again until fall, but I have people asking for it. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and make it. So that's mostly dissolved. Still a, little, a few pieces left, but... Those will blend out here in a minute. This is just my liquid oil and my clay. For those of you that have been following me, I finally figured out my mold dimensions and I'm super happy. I made soap yesterday and um, I didn't record it because I couldn't find my SD card. We tore the house apart and couldn't find it. And it just, I found it today. I picked up some, uh, we have a basket that we keep our, keep some things in. And I picked it up and it, the SD card was right there, the micro part. But anyway, I don't know how it got there, but it was there. So anyway, I have that now. Obviously, since I'm recording. And the mail lady just got here and she's out front honking her horn because I don't know, maybe she thinks I'm going to go and pick up my packages, but I'm making soap. Okay, so I've got everything blended up. We've got the mail situation situated, that mail taken care of situation situated. Anyway, it was a really heavy box and she didn't want to carry it up, so my daughter ran out and helped. Anyway... So I'm going to do some black, not a whole lot, let's see, and some blue. And then the rest. Do kind of this twilighty color, twilighty. See, I'm making up all sorts of words today. A lot going on in the background. I'm a little distracted too. I hear kids fighting in the other room, and I'm trying to figure out: Do I need to intervene, or am I good here? In one of my recently posted videos, I talked about how tired I've been, I hadn't been sleeping. For those of you that don't know, I have four special needs kids, and um, sometimes, you know, we just, we just have bad days, and we go through spells where things are a little rough, or we're not getting any sleep, or, or something. It's not predictable. Some days I'm exhausted physically, mentally, emotionally. Um, but that's a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. It's okay, we'll go with it. But, you know, in the end, it's all very rewarding. I love my children, and um, I'm very blessed I get to stay home with them. And... That needs to be blended up a little bit better. I can see some batter I didn't mix. And anyway, soaping is, is kind of like it's my outlet. I always tell people it's my, my therapy. I can get 
very creative and um, just kind of let it all go. And then it's something that my, my girls enjoy. They can come and they can get as involved as I'll let them. They don't get to make soap, obviously. Um, but they help me pick out colors and choose which fragrances to soap. And um, They know that I do this for them. They're what inspired me to really do what I do. I had no intention of starting a business. It just kind of evolved. Actually, it was my husband telling me I needed to support my, my new hobby. But um, it's so much more than just a hobby for me. I have big reasons for doing what I do, but anyway, I love it. Here's my fragrance. Can you eyeball it? It's sometimes hard to know. Did I put enough in there? Did I put too much? I don't remember how this soaked before. I'm really bad about taking notes because I, I like to fly by the seat of my pants. I like to just wing things. So I know that this is not the same color that I had the first time I made this. And I'm, I'm thinking I need to add some blue. And I'm thinking I need to add some light blue. some more. I don't typically just dump in like that. I like to uh, measure because with my luck I'm going to end up dumping the whole container. This is staying really fluid so I think I can stick blend this and it'll be fine. Hey Kidlet, I added some more blue. Oh. Cause look how dark it is. Can you see? Yeah. That's still not the color I'm going for, but we're going to do it. I'm just going to go ahead and stick with the other colors now so they're all the same thickness. Okay. Get everything out of the way. Get my mold in here. Make sure you can see. Stir. I know you can't see that, but I'm just stirring it. Nothing earth shattering about that. This smells so good. This is one of my favorite fragrances, I think. I'm really a fruit person. I like fruit. Blue. But I like some of the warm, sensual fragrances as well. Um, spicy, like uh, you know, cinnamon, nutmeg. The warm, sensual. I don't like scents like patchouli or heavy florals like rose. Not not a fan there. I don't care for musk. Or like real perfume scents. You know, if you're walking in the store and somebody walks by you and they're wearing an entire bottle of perfume and you can't breathe, you're choking on their perfume. I don't like that. Anyway, this one I like. Um, I'll try to remember to post the fragrance description, but I rarely do because I'm usually in the middle of 50 things or trying to get this uh, videos posted during school or at a quiet moment, which is rare around here. We don't have many quiet moments here. This needs to be stirred again. I see some mica on the side. I have a 
second soap planned for today. It may not happen though because I'm hearing kids breaking down. They can only go so long. Rest of that for the top. Hiya. Hi. Okay. Hanger. Right in front of my face. I swirled each part of that differently. I don't know. I don't have a rhyme or reason. I just kind of stick it in and swirl it. I don't have any expectations other than I want it to look pretty. Let's smack this down. Time to make another soap anyway today. We have a farmer's market today. I'm a little packed, but I have to get the car loaded and I still have to pack the kids' um, lunches and snacks and entertainment. They come with me two days a week to markets, and then the third day I will go by myself or I'll take one. Kind of depends. It's a another long days for anybody. It's even longer when you're a kid, huh? Yeah. But you like them? What? Farmers markets. Yeah. You do? Mm -hmm. You like going? Yeah. Why? Um. <sighs> She's thinking. Well, you like walking around and seeing all the, the booths. Yeah. My girls know all the vendors. They go and they help other people set up if they can. One of my girls has figured out how to set up canopies, and she can go pop people's canopies up by themselves. It's very impressive. Like to visit with other people. I know you like telling people about soap yeah she's got a couple that she designed herself she's she told me everything she wanted she picked the fragrance she picked the colors she told me how to pour them 100% her design if you go to the website and look up Lyra which is Pomeria that one is my 11 year old's design And that one is one that we stock regularly, so I know I have that one up right now. Okay. Let's get my cramp in my hand. I was diagnosed with degenerative arthritis and um, right along my thumb here. When I broke my hand, I broke my other hand, and I broke it at the base. Oh, you can't see. Ha! <laughs> broke it at the base, right here. Right here. And it was during then that I was diagnosed with degenerative arthritis. But it explains why when I'm soaping or holding things, because I soap, I crochet, I knit, um, I write. I get these nasty cramps, and that's why. But I'm not going to let it stop me keep doing what I do. Okay, so this is Twilight. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to post the cutting video on the back half of this one. Okay, here is Twilight. I've already cut a couple of the lows. We've got a lot going on here. I recorded one of the 
um, loaves, but my three-year-old came into the room and was making a ton of noise. So, i record this one just to be on the safe side. So this one still smells really good. It's a little more subtle in the soap than it is out of bottle. And um, it's just a very romantic, sensual smell. There's a little bit of warm, fruity, I wouldn't even call it fruity, it's more of a woodsy. You know, when you walk into the woods at night, it's what it reminds me of. A little bit of a musk hint to it, but it's very um, feminine. Oh, that's a pretty one. Kind of looks like a fairy or something. And I'm not a musk fan, but this is a very nice scent. This is one of my favorites. Anyway, this is Twilight, and this will be available uh, around July 16th. No, this will be available mid-July 2016 and available on my website at stargazersoaps.com. You'll also notice a change. We have a new website, and we're changing the name um, to Stargazer Luxuries. So both of those will still be Stargazer Soaps. Um, so stargazersoaps.com or stargazerluxuries.com. Thanks for watching.